Well, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Uh, yeah, so here we are. Um, it's an accomplishment that I'm here on Day 2. We are winning this battle one little bit at a time. I am currently distracted. What's new? I hope everyone's doing well. Welcome to my Vlogmas Day 2. It's so weird being back on camera for this channel. Um, I kind of touched on it a little bit yesterday. I have been gone from this channel for like two, two and a half years. Um, unintentionally. I, I will say that. I did not intend to just quit uploading. It Honestly, it was a... A mental thing um, it had gotten to where I just was not happy uh, posting about TTC anymore I just wasn't um, so I had decided to step away for a day just not post for that particular day and then I was gonna catch up the following day um, and then that following day, I was like, you know, you know, um, I just, I just won't post the rest of this cycle. It, it wasn't anything, um, that I felt like anybody was really interested in, to be completely honest. Um, because it was the same, the same story every month. Um, which, of course, is my story, regardless of how monotonous and repetitive it may be. It, it's my real life. Um, I do go through month after month after month after month of TTCing and testing and, you know, tracking and XYZ, one, two, three, all the above, and have the same outcome month after month. So the monotony of my videos was a direct reflection of the mo monotony of my life which is kind of you know sad to say but it's the truth um and my channel was always intended to show you what was truly going on in my life um so with that being said it's just it was a one day turned into two days turned into that full cycle turned into didn't want to return the next cycle turned into a few months turned into a year turned into two years you get the idea um and here we are um i checked out from that channel so much to the point or from this channel so much to the point to where um, I had fully logged out of the account, um, and I only checked in on the account every once in a blue moon, and I hope that nobody takes that as any kind of, um, anything offensive, it was nothing personal, it was just honestly, I, um, I just, I, I couldn't get myself in the headspace to use the account and to post and to follow and in all the above um, just wasn't in the right headspace for it so fast forward two two and a half years later I guess I'm back I just out of the blue was watching a video yesterday and it was somebody starting their vlogmas and I had been thinking for the past few weeks I would really like to do vlogmas i didn't know what i wanted to do i didn't know how i wanted to do it nor did i plan to do it on this channel um but when it came down to it just something told me that it was time it was time to come back and so here we are um i touched on it yesterday I am running a different YouTube channel. This is actually my husband's and my own YouTube channel. Um, he started it and, you know, in typical fashion, we, we kind of played around with it. We posted a few videos, but no, nothing consistent because it's always life gets in the way. Um, 
and I never really could understand how people could run businesses or work jobs or raise kids and, you know, have all the above um, activities going on in their life and keep up with social media, media because I definitely could not figure out a balance. And one day, uh, a few months ago, we just made the decision that it was going to be all or nothing. We were either going to start being consistent with our social media or we were going to completely stop using social media for business purposes because there, there's no point in just posting every once in a blue moon. And this goes all the way across the board with all of my social medias. And so far I have been successful with only one because I'm only one person and I'm still learning and adjusting to managing multiple things. Um, so right now the hot mess express is still full steam ahead I'm just trying to clean up my act as we go I'm learning I'm building and I'm pushing myself day by day to just do a little bit more a little bit better to be a little more efficient and to be a little less procrastinating um so here we are um I am excited for Vlogmas. I have never completed a Vlogmas. I think I may have tried to start one a couple of years back. I can't remember. I've been doing the YouTube videos now for like three or four years and uh, I know I've never completed a Vlogmas or a Vlogoween or any of the cutesy holiday themed um, stuff. I just, I've never been consistent enough to work it into my everyday life. Um, but yeah, so I am now, um, doing a lot, um, my business that I know I've touched on and has changed and, and grown and just molded into something that I never would have expected. And it's still a struggle. It is still a, um, it, it's still a baby that I'm having to nurture and and feed constantly or it definitely suffers um and I'm 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 learning to balance both my business and my husband's business which is like our family business and life and it's a lot but I'm loving every second of it and that's something that Two years ago, I was not doing. I was living life um, in a way that just kind of felt like I was going through the motions. I was happy in one sense, but in the other, I was making myself miserable. And that's why I had to step away um, from social media because social media was a huge toxic thing in my life at that moment and now I am relearning my relationship with social media and I'm going to turn it into a positive in my life versus something that was toxic and was making me quite unhappy um so yeah with all that being said I am excited to share with you guys what's been going on I'm excited to kind of show you little glimpses into my life, update you on all the above. Um, but we've got all month to chit chat and I want to keep all of these videos kind of short. Um, but yeah, so we are back for Vlogmas Day 2. Uh, currently I am in my studio. I am actually working on some Christmas orders. Um, this is one of the things that I have leaned into is 3D tumblers, 3D cups. Something is on the roof of my studio. Um, but yeah, so that's that's my little puddle piggy. Um, but yeah, I've leaned into doing 3D cups. That's my Highland Cow. This one's so popular. People love this little guy. I do all different colors. How adorable. Um, this is my eagle. super cool and I actually had somebody request a 
what I would have considered the coolest cup ever, but um, it's just out of season. But that's this is what they want, so this is what they get. And this is my version of this, so be nice in the comments because I am well aware that this is not a carbon copy of what it's supposed to be, but this is also my artwork. And I am not a photo printer. I am not a 3D printer. I do this hand sculpting and be nice. But my Michael Myers 3D cup that somebody commissioned me to make them. He's even got 3D hair. He's pretty cool. Um, yeah, well aware that he does not look identical to Michael, but I think we get the idea that that's who this is supposed to be and the customers. So, anyway. But there's a little sneaky peek into some of the stuff that I'm doing now, um, and that is just scratching the surface barely. Um, I have got uh, these little hands in a lot of different projects and a lot of different things, and I'm so excited to kind of share you, with you guys what I've been up to. But, um, again, keeping this short because we will be here all month, and I'm sure by Christmas we will be all caught up. But I love you guys. Um, if you are watching this and sticking around, thank you. Uh, subscribe. Comment. I need, I need some questions so we can get this conversation rolling. I know that a lot of you that used to watch me are wondering, did she fall off the face of the planet? Um, and you may have some questions for me like, girl, what are you doing with yourself? So leave those comments below and I will see you guys tomorrow for day three. Tomorrow for day three.